striking a balance between progress and the art, especially when designing open spaces, has been a dilemma nowadays. Progressive urban design has become uncommon, and a lot of people are saying there are just not enough landmarks and open spaces for future generations to enjoy. Today, heritage advocates are imparting knowledge, spreading appreciation to ultimately make us realize that there is another way of doing things with better and more sustainable means. In the forefront of this advocacy is City Sense columnist, architect Paolo Alcazarin. Architect Paolo, let's uh, backtrack. What made you decide to be an architect? Now, when I was in high school, I went to a technical school that's on Bosco. And we were all trained in mechanics and and how to put things together. So originally I wanted to become an industrial designer, but it wasn't offered at UP, so I took the next best course, which is architecture. Eventually they started to offer it in uh, Mapua, but by that time I'd already started practicing. But what about spaces or design? Did you love Talaga? That's why you wanted to get well, it's into it. It's a good thing you, you, you said space, because what most people associate architecture with it's just the building, just the envelope, just the skin. When in fact, the essential thing for architecture is the design of the space, both the spaces inside and the spaces outside. In fact, I'm an, I, I design mostly outside spaces. So it's a specialty in architecture called urban design and landscape architecture. So uh, the Philippines has a lot of building architects, people who design the envelopes for the spaces inside, but very few uh, design for the settings of the buildings, which is my special. Right, which is uh, where we are right now. Yes, this, this is in the heart example, of yeah. Ortigas, but it's all green. It's so nice. This is a central space. Mm. It's uh, the central garden. It's a pocket park, yes. uh, but uh, in terms of Metro Manila, it's quite large right, for exactly. a developer to allocate such an open space for their destination. You mentioned earlier that you're an architect, but for this particular space, you did landscape. And then you landscape also said uh, which, you yes. have to do so many different things. So you are yeah, architect took, for buildings. Yes, I took up, I have degrees in uh, uh, building architecture, in landscape architecture, and in urban design. Okay, iba iba yon. Those are different disciplines. That's just uh, three, dis three disciplines in a continuum mm -hmm. that takes one from the building to the setting of the building. Right and then the setting of that setting. That means building, a cluster of buildings, and then a district or a quadrant in a city. You mentioned earlier that you had a brief uh, stint teaching sociology, yes. and on your Facebook page, you have a Metro Manila Memories Quiz. That's because of my advocacy for heritage conservation. Yeah. Taking my master's, I, I focused on the history of architecture and urbanism, and mm -hmm. that led me to writing. I have a 20-year-old column in the Philippine mm -hmm. Star on urbanism, and uh, that's my advocacy. Right. So I do uh, post on, on Facebook uh, almost daily quizzes on, on uh, the, the Manila's past, uh, the past of uh, other cities in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't look at the past, we won't understand why we're in the present. We right. don't have a vision for the future. Right. Urban development is necessary and is a given in this day and age. As cities cannot be made to stop evolving, but how do we make it reflect who we are? How do we not compromise our history and culture? How do you define a city being progressive? The central business districts are necessary elements of right. any metropolis. But you have to balance it with residential areas that have access to community spaces and central spaces. Yes. So the ideal city would be a balance of central business districts or a metropolis surrounded by residential enclaves that are affordable by all strata of society. When building new cities or when retrofitting older ones, one must look at controlling densities mm -hmm. and giving incentives for development that provides all of these elements in a balance. Considered to be one of the most influential urban designers of our time, a prolific architect with over 200 projects in 14 countries, a writer, a photographer, the editor-in-chief of Blueprint magazine, an awardee of Gawad CCP, a true Filipino. What 
do you want to be kumbaga, your legacy? Wow, it's so early to be talking about legacy. But in the design world, what do you want to leave as your mark? Well, the legacy of my generation is to first, is really to realize that we've made mistakes that the previous generations have made mistakes in the way we design cities yeah. and design buildings without context. Mm -hmm. and that's the legacy that my generation has to leave uh, for the future. Mm -hmm. Is, is creating the settings so that architecture can shine. Mm -hmm. Ar architecture is really like the jewels that you wear, except that if your setting is made of lead, mm -hmm. it reduces the value of the gem. So what we have in Manila is with wonderful architecture, but those gems of architecture are devalued by the settings, by the, the blight that surrounds you. And it does not take any more money to design badly as to design well. That's right. Same price. Mm -mm. So might as well design well. Of might as course. well design. Modern Filipino architecture is a result of centuries of evolution marked by a history that includes struggle and survival. As architect Paolo pointed it out, wouldn't it be wonderful to live in a city with well-appointed, well-designed spaces that mark our identity as a nation? Thank you for joining us today here in the beautiful Ethan Allen Design Center and we hope you're able to inspire you to start thinking green in terms of building or renovating your space. Definitely and don't forget to join us again next week as we meet more amazing personalities and discover the latest finds that the Metro has to offer. From living spaces to living life beyond its confines. This, this is your ultimate guide to modern living. living.